All right, guys, so we finally made it back from OSW. We pulled the queue out. We had some issues with the queue, but I, I'm gonna touch base on that in a different video. We just got back to the shop. I did some editing, and now it's the next day, and we wanted to finish up on Allie's car. The only things that have to get done is we have to put the intake manifold on and bleed the coolant. Allie's currently been going ham on this silicone for the past, like, 20 minutes, just scraping everything off. She's already finished the top half of the intake manifold. And we're gonna spray it one more time with brake parts cleaner just to make sure there's no extra silicone laying around But unless you want to go through this consistent just Bullshit. <laughs> I'd highly recommend you guys use like OEM metal gaskets. I know these engines are like prone to vacuum leaks There's a lot of like 3 8 hose that people miss out that causes the vacuum leaks and then they go ahead and silicone the intake manifold And yes silicone does work, but it's a real man it's not fun to work with so just go ahead use actual oem gaskets and don't use silicone because it's just it's dirty it's messy and if it's not done right you still get a vacuum leak be a gentleman use some oem gaskets they look better they work better we're gonna pull this car down from the lift we're gonna make sure everything is intact i'm gonna put the lower plenum on while she's working on the upper plenum also we still have to do the uh oil flush as well so in the midst of like running the car and bleeding it we're gonna drain the oil that i put in there and then we're gonna go ahead and do another like second oil change just to make sure the engine's completely clean there's no like sludge or moisture or anything in there from when it sat for all that time Something I totally forgot about. I was about to go ahead and go up in Allie's engine bay and install her intake manifold and bleed her coolant and start her car. Yeah, I completely forgot that I never put in the clutch slave. I never replaced this rinkety old clutch line. And also, I never put the test pipes in. So this thing was about to just be headers and we were gonna turn it on. And we were just gonna be surprised by how loud it was. I gotta put test pipes in, and I also got, ah, uh, we'll do the clutch line. We'll do the clutch line after. No, we'll, do, we'll figure it out. What I just figured out when we were trying to install the two O2 sensors on Ali's VHR test pipes is we got two, obviously the right bottom O2 sensors, but I'm not sure which side they went to. So I went over here and just in case you guys have this issue uh, when you want to install uh, new test pipes and put back in your O2 sensors, but highly recommend putting these back. You're gonna notice that the plugs itself won't fit. So you get a green plug and a blue plug. So green is for a driver side, Blue is for passenger side, to where I picked up this blue one and it slid in perfectly. We got O2 sensors now, awesome. And let's just make sure this one goes, yeah, it does, cool. There's a couple exhaust mounts, like for this one, for example, that the bolt is like stripped and we can zip tie an exhaust mount and it won't touch the exhaust. So it's not like it's gonna melt or anything or come loose. It's just, do I wanna go through the work of putting an exhaust on and uh, Really at this point, I just want to bleed the car and get it started already This little fancy guy on there if we can yeah, open the cap or whatever ah. Is it empty? It's empty One washer on this side, one washer on that side, and then just try and fit it up to the sleeve. Got that? So this one is this one? Yes. I'm proud of you, you did good. Bella! <laughs> So we ended up uh, bleeding the clutch properly, right? We did it properly. And uh, her clutch pedal isn't getting stuck. Not like it did before, but it's not getting stuck. 
now that we put the new clutch line in. So she has a brand new clutch line. It is making a weird squeak when she pushes her clutch down, but once we turn the car on, it should go away. Now I think all that's left is doing your radiator, right? Huh, Bleeding all your wrong? coolant. Bleeding your coolant? What's on the I'm list? Bleed coolant. Well, oh, we bar. still gotta flush your oil. Oh, we connected the shifter. We connected the shifter. I think I found a bolt for your sway bar earlier. Um, Intake flash. manifold. Flash flash. Cool. Bleed clutch on the bottom. Oh. You get rid of that. Get rid of that. Yeah. You ready? All right. I want it to eat the coolant and it doesn't want to eat the coolant. <laughs> Nothing's leaking. Yeah. Like a light rev. Light. It sounds healthy. What is it idling at? Alright, so that was somewhat successful. Um, we ended up cleaning both Z's. I want a little ham on mine. <laughs> I straight up like waxed my Z. Yeah, it's spotless. Now, as far as the black 350Z, yes, of course, we didn't finish it yet, but we did get the first start out of it, which is really, really exciting. Tomorrow, we still have to blame bleed the coolant apparently there wasn't a bleeder valve on here which you need to bleed the coolant properly i don't know why there wasn't one on here rob uh i'm gonna go pick one up from z fever tomorrow since they have some in stock so we're just gonna continue this video tomorrow at z fever or the next video will probably start at z fever either way i don't know but we're gonna be taking the z to z fever i'm gonna be talking to sean about maybe potentially putting that one on the dyno and very, very much potentially putting this one on the dyno. I want to make sure that it came out perfect. And being that there's an upgraded fuel pump, ported plenums, new headers, and new exhaust and stuff like that, I want to get the car tuned and I want to see how much power this car can make. And I want to see if there's any sensor issues with that car because even though I thought I figured everything out, it's still hiccuping at like 4,500 RPM in second gear. It, it runs a little okay now. Either way... Either way, I'm going to take it to Z Fever. I'm going to ask what Sean can do and maybe if I can have Martin touch on it a little bit. But that's going to be it, guys.